because there was one thing that was like, okay, we restarted. All right, are we are we back up and sound? Can can you hear? Oh, I hear that, something now. Oh, fantastic! All right. Yeah. Hey, all right. Thank you for sticking with us oh, with our technical oh. difficulties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we yeah. are we are here now. That's why Whoa. we like to do audio I'm glad, tests. I'm glad Weird. that we stuck with it. Yeah. What was it that you had to do? I basically on OBS I had to go in and just remake the audio capture. Uh, for it. Oh, weird. Yeah. I'm weird. Yeah. I clearly, clearly, we're about to drop truths on everybody, and the man doesn't want us to share those truths. We are breaking the <laughs> we're breaking the the rules. We are we are gonna make some huge uh, um, changes yeah. in the world. We're we're shifting paradigms, is what we're doing. So hi, I'm Steph. <laughs> That's Ken. I, I am Ken. And thank you so much. Uh, this is why we always test our oh audio gosh, at right? the beginning. That's, that's the fun part about live uh, video. Yeah, every single time we do, yeah. like, we do our little intro, and I, um, I always have my phone going. And just to make sure I can hear it, to make sure that we are, like, we do have audio, because there have been so many times... Um, that uh, it, it just doesn't work. So yeah, Rachel, they don't want the the the, set, the truth out, and we're about to to reveal those truths tonight because we're doing a very special stream where we are talking about dun 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 conspiracy theories. We have a lot of different conspiracy theories on our list tonight. We do. Um, it's a list of twelve, but unlike uh, usual, we're not going to be rolling a dice. Uh, we are going to. We have a we have a particular order that we want to do this yes. in. Yes. And uh, one Tell of the story. We are, and one of these, uh, uh, str uh, one of these things on this list is a personal conspiracy theory of mine. One that Seth believes. I really, truly believe one of these conspiracy theories, and um, <laughs> we. I will let you know when we get to it. But if you think, if you think you know which one it is, let us know in the chat. Like, yes. oh, this is the one Stephanie believes in. And, and I'll let you know if you're right or wrong. Uh, but don't worry, I will let you know when we get there uh, which one is. <laughs> this is the whole Absolutely. reason why I wanted to do this tonight's stream. Because mm -hmm. I want to talk about my own. <laughs> I, I don't yes. think I'm the only person who believes this. There's a good chance that, that there are others. There's, there's probably a large yeah. group of people who also yeah. believe the same exact one that I'm going to talk about tonight. But we have a few different conspiracies that we are talking about tonight. Um... Yep. So for those who don't know, a conspiracy theory is, it's kind of like, um, a, a, something that is considered a, a, uh, uh, an alternative to what people know. <laughs> like, uh, whether they call it a conspiracy theory is because usually people are lying to you or they, people are trying to get the truth out there. Like the government or other people are lying to you about the truth because they're trying to hide something. Some conspiracy theories are absolutely ridiculous and hilarious. Some of them have some credit to them. Like, they could absolutely be real. And then there's some that are to totally, like, violent and bad and toxic. Obviously, we're not going to be talking about those tonight. We don't, yeah, we don't want to no. spread any... Um, we're, we're not Kanye West up in here. Yeah, or yeah. Um, Elon Musk. Yeah. Or other people who uh, just want to spread hates. Um, so, um, okay. Oh, so Ashley doesn't think I believe in any of them. There is one. 
There, I am not lying to you. There is genuinely, one on this list. One. I genuinely believe in. Well, so do you want to get started? Let's get started, yeah. All right. Our first conspiracy is that birds aren't real. This is <laughs> kind of a real conspiracy. Because I think the guy who created it is like very committed to his bit and keeps going with it. It's like He's got a website and everything that kind of outlines the time frame of like the CIA's creation in the 40s to, like, um, uh, just present day, essentially, and how the government is uh, ha has murdered all the birds in the world, every last bird, and now um, the birds that we do see are actually robot drones uh, designed to uh, spy on the populace at large. Forget Big Brother... Forget, like, your Alexa. No, it's mm. actually birds that are birds. spying on you. It's that little budgie that you've got, your your pet bird. Like, that's, that's, that's They're a not robot. Real. That's a camera. That's not real. It's a camera. <laughs> it's worse than your Alexa. Mm -hmm. It's worse than your telephone. Or your cell phone, excuse me. Your cell, your cell phone telephone mm -hmm. that is uh, listening to you so it can give you ads and Facebook. Uh, it is, birds are actually spying on you and watching you while you have sex. Oh, jeez. I mean, if you do engage in that activity. Uh, Rachel I'm says, I've heard of this one. Uh, Ashley, thank you both, Ashley and uh, uh, Rachel, for joining us. I'm so glad to have you here. Um, we got Ashley saying, the bird one is for the bourgeoisie. The bird -wazi? Yes. <laughs> um, so this one I say is kind of like a, It's not necessarily A legit conspiracy no. theory Because the guy who has been like, per, like basically doing it Knows that it's not real But he just oh, yeah. He just goes into it full he's, Like yeah. Like like a hundred percent he's got like a van he's got the website and he knows it's kind of like a parody but he's just like a hundred percent committed to the bits it's mostly from what i understand his his bit is that he's trying to combat like flat earth theories um and as so long as there are people out there touting like the earth is flat he has committed to uh birds aren't real uh, for this uh, specific gag, just just to kind of point out the just silly nature, really, of, of a lot of conspiracy theories that are out there. Because some conspiracy theories are just, like, for fun, entertainment, mm -hmm. and some are, like we were saying before, can be very, like, uh, just, just uh, really feeding into uh, fear-based uh, stuff. And some of it can turn into stuff that's really, really dangerous. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but, like, the flat earthers, it's just, like, science denying. And yeah. if you can deny science on such a big fact, like, they say that people don't believe a little lie, they believe a big lie. Yeah, yep. And so, like, the earth is flat and saying these things that are just truly stupid... And I don't mean to be mean, but they're truly stupid. Yeah. Um, like, fluoride helps your teeth get strong. It's not mind control. Like, yeah. Hey. We got Ashley uh, saying, the earth is flat. You believe in the earth? <laughs> Noob. <laughs> that's, that's always my favorite response for conspiracy theories, is just escalate. Uh, just one-upping. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we got Rachel. I was just going to say about the flat earth people. Yeah, the flat... Yeah. So, so, especially with the birds aren't real, the birds aren't real guy, it basically uses the same kind of logic... That he, he, they, they say that why the earth is flat, that he says mm -hmm. that birds aren't real. So yeah. he just combats it by using the same kind of arguments because of something ridiculous. Like, of course, birds are real. But yeah. he's just basically pointing out how mm -hmm. ridiculous they sound by using that same exact logic against them. So kudos to the guy behind birds aren't real. That was yeah. what we wanted to start with. And I love what you're drawing. This, Thank you. This reminds me of another meme I've seen go around where it's like, uh, where they say talk about like <sighs> different countries, like the USA, the U USSR, or not USSR, sorry, uh, the, the UK, um, mm -hmm. Canada, and then they show like uh, um, Ukraine, and it's just like a, a whole bunch of little old ladies oh, judging yeah. you, yeah, yeah, like the little like babushka, systems, like the, the yeah. security system who's actually yeah. spying on you. Yeah, it's the babushka who yeah. is spying on you. It's really funny. <laughs> 
Um, we've got Ashley saying, uh, one of the stupidest theories with even stupider, within even stupider theory, theories. Mm-hmm. Oh, there is a, there's a lot of stupid theories out there. There are. There, and yeah. there is, like, we're going to talk about a lot of them tonight. Mm-hmm. I don't want to spoil anything. We didn't talk about the lizard people. No. Who are ruling over everything. Because that's not a conspiracy. That's for real. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, ask, I don't believe in reptilians. If you uh, ask any of my galactic friends, uh, oh gosh, yeah, that's true. They, they, because the, and and I love so. But getting ready for the stream, we were just looking up and doing a little research about just ridiculous conspiracy theories, and this one always showed up about the reptilians. Mm-hmm. And oh, I'm yeah. so glad somebody else saw the same exact thing that I did. Mm-hmm. For those who aren't aware of the TV show, it was V, right? Yes, V. It was a 1980s kind of phenomenon TV show. They remade it back in the early 2000s, I think. Maybe mid-2000s. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Ashley, v. for correcting me. I, I did misread what you said. One up the theories with stupider theories. Yes, yes. yes. That is that is the only way to go is it's to the one only. up them. Yeah. Thank you, Ashley. For, thank you for clarifying. Um, we got Rachel saying the Italian grandmothers always know stuff before you even get home. Exactly. Yeah. It's like I've seen that with Italian grandmas too. It's really it's a really funny uh, meme. But um, yeah, the reptilian ones is a hundred percent just based off of like this show V, yep. which was a huge phenomenon at the oh, time yeah. that it was on the air, and the fact that like people ignore that fact when they talk about the reptilian like uh, conspiracy theory it, it's it's so oh, yeah. fucking blatant and it's just so ripping off just bad sci-fi yeah <laughs> it's yeah. really funny it's really yeah, really funny exactly. to me we got rachel saying the original v was awesome the remake nope they did mm-hmm. a remake yeah um gosh what, what's her bucket um she she was the girlfriend in Deadpool. She played the prostitute on. Um, oh, Rosario Dawson. No, 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 no. Um, like, my, oh, I can't remember how to pronounce her name. Um, she was on Firefly. She was the prostitute on Firefly. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, um, the companion. The companion. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse you I'm very sorry. much. She she would uh, be beating me if I called her that. I'm sorry. No, um, she would be beating you with her words with so much sass she, and she class. She would be. She would be. Because that's how they wrote the show. Yes, that is. <laughs> uh, she she the she was the the kind of spokesperson for the visitors on the V remake. Oh, um, I'm curious. Yeah, yeah. Huh. I did watch a little bit of the original, and I mean, it's bad sci-fi. It's bad sci-fi. It was the 80s. Yeah, it was like yeah. early 80s, coming right out of the 70s. It was just really bad. And, and not to diminish it or anything, it was cool at its time. And not to say, you know, I mean, there's plenty of things. Like, I say, like, there's plenty of cool things, like, when we were kids. And we go back to her, like, mm-hmm. ooh. Yeah, the yeah. Beetlejuice uh, cartoon didn't, didn't wasn't as cool so well. yeah. as we thought it was. Like, that was actually pretty cringe. Yeah, for sure. And so, yeah, uh, uh, 2009 TV series of the remake of V is what Rachel said. Oh, oh okay. I thought it was like... 2009. I didn't okay. know that. Okay, it, it was some sort of mid-aughts was what I was thinking. And like that just looks like a drumstick. I mean, that's what it is. <laughs> just some KFC. <laughs> just some robot KFC. Robot KFC. Oh my god, if birds aren't real, then what's KFC? <gasps> that's how they get you. KFC is how they get you. They they make you ingest the monitoring software. <laughs> that's how they get. That's, that's, that's how they the get tracking the... software. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so widespread you can get it at your grocery store too. <laughs> oh. Oh, hey, Cat! No. Thank you for Hello. watching. Welcome. She says uh, KFC is people. Oh, oh of course. Oh. It's fried yes. soylent green. Oh, oh man. <laughs> okay, I have so many questions if birds aren't real. I right. I mean, like, mm-hmm. yes, especially about KFC. But now that we know that KFC is people, yes, and that's, that's why all it can be. it's so finger licking good <laughs> with those twelve spices and herbs. It, it actually is eleven dudes named Herb is how they make it, <laughs> and the Spice Girls. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. The 
this is very brilliant. This uh, is exactly what birds look like. This is real birds. Absolutely. This I is... mean, now now 2022 birds because birds aren't actually real. Birds died like back in the 70s. They killed them all mm-hmm. one by one all across the globe. And uh, not through pollu- uh, pollution or global nope. warming or uh, bad uh, city planning where they decided that they weren't going to plant trees that actually would give birds food like most trees do. Yeah, yeah. For, fuck those really like fragrant uh, mm-hmm. ginkgo trees. I say fragrant in the most loveliest for uh, term. Kindest of terms. Like, but but for, <laughs> fuck those birds and they actually need yeah. anything. They aren't real anyways. No, no, they're not. Clearly. Uh, we got Ashley Stan. I'm coloring this. <laughs> Yay! Uh, That's beautiful. I I really wanted you like that kind of blueprint blown out. It's nice. Uh, robot. It's bird. good. Yeah. It's really good. Okay, <laughs> so now are we ready to get into the real, real conspiracy theories? Yes. You know, now that we we've, we've kind of scratched the surface, if you're still with us, we we've got some truth for you. Okay. Remember, one of these Stephanie <laughs> actually believes in. Okay. So you have to guess which mm-hmm. one I actually believe in. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, our next conspiracy theory is Bigfoot is Cain from know, the Bible. We know somebody who believes in this one. I, yes, I might know several, um, but one in particular. Um, We've talked about this a couple of times. We have. But uh, Cain and Abel, that's not a story I always remember when I think of the Bible. It's like the two brothers and one kills the yeah. other, right? What's the Cain- story of Cain and Abel? Uh, basically, um, Cain and Abel were tasked with... Um, uh, creating or like, like making an offering to God okay. and uh, get a really nice prezi and got it. Yeah. Uh, so Cain uh, was a, sh- a shepherd, um, but he didn't want to kill any of his sheep for God because he loved his sheep. Um, I mean, sheep are cute. They're really yeah. f- filthy, disgusting creatures. So he made himself like. Uh, he, he made God a really nice fruit basket, but God was like, no dog, that ain't cool. Your brother Abel, like, he's over here, and he actually slaughtered an animal for me as an offering. So he hey, kind of God gets, likes mutton, okay. Yeah, yeah. So he, he got God's favor, and Cain did not. Uh, so Cain was pissed and, and killed his brother. Um, yes, with a slingshot. I with thought, a, what Rachel says. I always heard it was a rock. Like, he, he bashed his head in with a rock. I, n- I thought David killed Goliath with a slingshot. Oh, that's right. That's so, right. That's right. Yeah. Um, but I, who who knows? I mean, the stories vary so much from telling to telling. So he kills his um, brother, but then he becomes immortal? He, yeah, somehow, like, killed his brother. Um, we'll, we'll just... Um, yeah, Kat yeah, confirms yeah. the slingshot was Goliath. Um, but yeah, the, the whole thing after that then is that God marked Cain for, for his sin and put like a mark on his forehead. Uh, oh my God. Was it a letter M? I, (laughs) (laughs) I, as much as I love that, I don't think God is uh, a Kira Toriyama. God damn it. Uh, (laughs) I was really hoping for another, like an over 9,000 reference for DBZ, Dragon Ball Z. Um, but yeah, so everybody could see his shame and everything. Um, and then some people took the, the mark of Cain to be like, oh, it, he's now immortal and uh, has to walk the earth being this cursed being. So is the mark of Cain being really hairy then? I, maybe? I What's don't the know. mark of Cain? I, you know, Was I've... it a K on his forehead? <laughs> I don't think the letter K existed back then. Oh, you're probably right. Um, <laughs> but I have an idea, and if you'll bear with me, okay. I, I want okay. to draw a scene for this. Okay. Okay. Um, we got. I'm gonna yeah. go to the chat real quick. Um, we got Ashley saying sheep are cute, but they are disgusting creatures, though. Oh, <laughs> Stephanie, and they're 2K22. <laughs> they are okay. They're so, really dumb. Uh, they okay. They're sheep. That's where I mean, the people get yes. the term sheep, you know. Yes. Oh. Be, don't be sheeple. Like, Dang. yeah, there we go. We, yeah. we threw in our sheeple reference for a conspiracy theory. They're, they're very much, they, they, they are very social creatures. And they will follow, like, they, 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 part of how why they survived for so long 
is because they follow in herds. Yeah. And because of the mass of, like, how much they are, like, of how many there are, that's how they survived. Yeah. And, and so, um, but they are really disgusting. I watch a whole bunch of different cooking channels from Azerbaijan and from um, Iran and Iraq. And, uh, or no, it's just Iran. Um, yeah. But, um, and they eat a lot of sheep. They eat a lot, a lot of mutton, especially the sheep tail, because the type of sheep that are in, native to that area, because they're warmer climates, unlike the sheep that live in like the highlands of Scotland, where it's fucking cold all the time, the sheep that live more closer to the equator, all of their fat is in their butts. Yes. I'm not lying. And we're talking about, we're not talking just like Mothman booty. Nope. We're talking like, look that shit up. It is badonk a donk. Like yeah. they, the sheep tail itself is so coveted. Like they eat a lot, a lot of sheep tail okay. um, in their day to day cuisine. <laughs> like they will chop it up and cook it with pretty much everything because yeah. they love the sheep tail fat. Because the fat isn't on the rest of the sheep. Um, I've seen enough of them cut up sheep after they've slaughtered them in these shows. It's not the reason why I watch them because I think it's fun for everything else that they do, but they do show a lot of like they they show uh, cleaning and uh, butchering and uh, getting preparing the sheep for cooking, and there's no fat on the rest of those bodies. It's just all on the ass. It's all on the booty, and because their booty has so much fucking fat on the back, and then all of their poop gets stuck. Yeah. Like, you talk about dingleberries. Holy Jeez. fucking shit. <laughs> but, like, the king of the dingleberries belongs to the sheep from the Middle East. Because there's so much shit that gets so stuck all along the back. This isn't my conspiracy theory, okay? I know a lot about these sheep. And this has nothing to do with Bigfoot as Cain. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, it's... But it's it's, it's very interesting. Because, um, yeah, the sheep tail... They call it the sheep tail uh, fats. And they use it for a lot, a lot of cooking. Uh, but that's, it's because of how, like, instead, because it's so warm, um, having all of the fat in the back, haha, <laughs> um, <laughs> is beneficial for very warm clients. Um, I'm going to look back at the chat because uh, after my rants, um, <laughs> uh, we got Ashley. No, it's totally fair. They are gross. They are. Same sheepies, shame, same uh, cat. With all the fat in the back, like in the <laughs> booties, big old booties. <laughs> Rachel, the Bible does not tell us that the mark of that God put on Cain actually was. The Hebrew word for mark means sign and occurs over 70 times in the Bible. Oh, and there are no specifics as to the nature of that mark. Some people think it was a scar or a tattoo. Yeah. Whatever it was, it was a sign that Cain was not to be killed. Ashley says, so what am I looking up? Oh, Middle Eastern sheep, K. Yeah. <laughs> they got big-ass there, booties. There, there are some awful uh, idea, other ideas that I don't really want to go into at the moment about what the Mark of Cain might be, but... 666, Marks I, of the Beast. Yes, that too. Um, just because, like, the, the religion I was raised in has a very uh, unpleasant idea about what uh, denotes purity on a, a physical uh, uh, look. And it's it's not cool. It's really not cool. And I'm glad is I'm Is that not... the whole reason why they think Bigfoot is Kane? Partially. I just thought it was weird that, like, some Mormons believe that he never died. Yeah, because he was never to, to be killed meant that he was immortal, and yeah. that was like a punishment. Yeah, like immortality is a punishment or something. I mean, how edgy early uh, yeah, Testament right. God, right? Psh, God, yeah. God, <laughs> for being the first murderer, you are now cursed to live forever. Okay, but wasn't there like stuff about murder with fucking Lilith? Oh, God. You know, I, I wasn't raised in a religion that really went... W Mormonism didn't really talk about uh, Lilith. I know a lot of groups that don't talk about Lilith. Like, we don't talk yeah. about Lilith. Uh, that should be a we Disney song. We don't talk about Lilith. Oh, we don't talk about Lilith. Um, Rachel says, also said that uh, he was given to Lucifer. Well, yeah. I mean, doesn't that mean he was going to H-E double hockey sticks? I mean, maybe? Okay, actually, okay. Let me rewind it. 
because I do know this about Christian mythology because it's weird. Christian mythology is very, very strange. But uh, hell is actually a Norse concept. It's not uh, Christian. Uh, they took that when they were like taking over yeah. like the Germanic tribes and the Nordic people. Uh, hell is a Norse goddess, daughter of Loki. She has her realm, Helheim. She is the goddess of death. Hell was described as a cold, abysmal place, so hell was frozen over long before Christians got their hands on it. Yeah. Thank you, that's my favorite joke. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, the whole, like, gnashing of teeth, like, it being horribly in pain, was so basically the idea is that everybody goes to heaven when they die. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Like, if you actually look at, like, the what would, like true Catholics or Christians believe in, everybody goes to heaven when they die. But if you reject God in, like during life, when you get to heaven, you're basically in pain for all the time in existence because wow. you basically said, fuck you, God. That doesn't sound like, like a, a very heaven-like experience. Ha, sadiga, oh, yeah. evil one. Oh, ha, sadiga, I, I, evil one. We don't fuck like, you, God. We don't tune the audio on this. Sorry, it's really Be loud. to our listeners. It's really loud. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, we got Ashley said never to be killed. So there was uh, no saying that he died from old age. I always thought he died. He did die from old age. I didn't really know this. I was a really bad Christian when I was forced to be one. So I, I'm not the best when it comes to Christian mythology. Um, that uh, uh, Ashley saying, isn't hell a Greek and Norse thing? The fiery infernos of Hades. Okay, so well, that's a different matter entirely Hades too. Hades versus hell is described as two different. There are two different kinds of descriptions of different types of underworlds. The underworld in Greek mythology is actually the uh, beautiful golden fields of um, bliss. So yeah, they had like, like the Elysian fields. Yeah, the Elysian fields exactly. Yeah. So you had a couple of rivers that you had to drink from the uh, river uh, that would make you forget, and yeah. the river that would. What's that? Lethe was yeah. the yeah, forgetful one, yeah. And um, what basically getting ready for you to be ready to be reincarnated. So you'd have to forget your old life, you have to forget everything, and then you'd have to be purified from all those lives. So you have to drink from both of those rivers, which are also in the underworld. There, there's another river you have to cross the River Styx in yeah. order to actually get into uh, the actual place that is the underworld um, in Greek mythology. And you have to pay, of course, the ferryman, the yeah. two pieces of coin blah 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 and um which my work is a death doula i always make sure i leave a couple of coins with a body before i leave it um but that's a different story um but um yeah once you pay the ferryman then you go across the river sticks that you can choose to drink from whatever rivers and then you can go into the elysian fields and you're like yeah everything's great and then you can choose to reincarnate if you want to yeah. Um, but it's not really described as a fiery inferno. That is the pit of Tartarus, which is the realm of the Furies. And uh, Persephone, um, I forget the, it's Kore Persephone, and there's another term, like another name she has, and I forget it off the top of my head because I studied Greek mythology a long time ago. Yeah. Um, We're doing conspiracy theories, okay? We're not doing Greek mythology. Well, you started with Bigfoot as <laughs> Cain, okay? I mean, fair. We, um, we are going into mythical We're going territory. into mythology, this one. But, yeah. um... Uh, yeah, uh, it's Corey Persephone, and she has another name, which is her in as the Queen of the Furies, and she rules over the pit of Tartarus, and that's where people go to get punished. So what's his face? Who's always pulling up the the rock every? Oh, Sisyphus, yeah. Sisyphus, yeah. He's in the pit of Tartarus. Uh, so many like other like people who were continuously being tortured. They were in Tartarus, and sometimes it was described as fiery and abysmal, depending on your whatever it was your punishment was. That's the difference. But hell itself is more of like 
like those Elysian fields where it's just green and beautiful. Yeah. Some places were cold and bismal. Uh, it depends again, because the cold and bismal places were more for people who were terrible, awful people. Yeah. And in Norse mythology, you had Nordhiger, uh, which is the Midgard serpent. Or not Midgard serpent. He's the one who eats the roots at the underworlds yeah. at the bottom of Yggdrasil. And if you were really fucking bad, you were fed to Nidhogger and you wouldn't even exist anymore. No reincarnation for you. You've done, yeah. fucked up, you're, you're gone. You're out of the pool. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> R.A.P. headphone users. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean the Im <laughs> imagery of hell being fiery came from Hades. No, because even Hades wasn't described as fiery. That's the pit of Tartarus. Uh, Rachel, I skipped a lot of the BS when I had to deal with it during Sunday school. I was uh, busy uh, drawing band, leg uh, band logos. Hell, hell yeah! yeah. Uh, Ashley, oh, that must be where it came from then. Yeah, it's from the pit of Tartarus. Uh, Ken, I want to get to the next one. I know you're trying to paint oh a scene. Oh my gosh, okay. Come on. I want to tell like, this really great story okay, about okay, okay. like Cain being like a wear Bigfoot uh, for it. So that's, Tell us that's what you've drawn. Well, I, so he killed. He, he God killed was very brother. judgy. God was mad. And now uh, every time the moon turns, he turns. Oh, is that why we only see Bigfoot every now and then? Exactly. Oh. Because Kane is a werefoot. A werefoot. I love it. <laughs> I'm going to say that next time I go to Bigfoot Java. Yeah. But yeah, I, I'm actually really happy with That's how really this turn out. That's a really yeah. good judgy yeah. god. Thank like, you. big beard. I'm not happy with you. He's like, I'm just jealous of his fucking fruit bowl, okay? Yeah. His yeah. fruit basket. I mean, come on. Like, I, I, I think Kane probably had a really kick-ass fruit basket. It had pomegranate. Pomegranates, and who doesn't you know love what? pomegranates? He had it coming. Oh, jeez. He yeah, had okay. it coming. Going with Chicago now. He had right. it coming. Going for Book of War. Tonight is going to be like our off Broadway episode. Yes. Um, all right. So, you want to get to the next one? Yes. All right. The next one is. The moon landing was fake. This is a good one. This, this, this is a really, is really good, good one. Good. I can't, so there are people who do legit believe. They they do. They think this in the 1960s that the U.S. government hired Stanley Kubrick to uh, direct the moon landing and that it was all done on a soundstage, um, which is really funny to me. Uh, especially, like, the follow-up joke is like, yeah, but Stanley Kubrick was such a professional that he insisted they film on location. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. It's really yeah. good. Um, we got Cat in the comments saying, "Is that where the game Fruit Basket upset came from?" I don't know the game Fruit, ba Fruit Basket upsets. Neither do I. But you know what? I'm gonna say yes. That is exactly its okay. origin, and that's exactly it. And yes, Ashley, that's exactly another follow-up joke that we love too. Yeah. The moon landing was fake. You believe in the moon? Yes, that that's, that is another that, great one. Always, Although, you always got to one-up conspiracy theorists. We did discover that um, that actually is, like, a legit conspiracy out there, too. It is. That it's actually just... That was one of the things on the list. It's not on this list because we wanted to do the yeah. moon landing was fake yeah. instead. Uh, but uh, one of the conspiracy theories that we were looking up, uh, that the moon is actually fake. There's no actual moon. That's no moon. Yeah. Um, Q, Obi-Wan... Um, it's not. It's uh, some people say that it's actually a projection in the night sky that's hiding something more sinister that could be like a Death Star. Yeah. That could be something else. Could be Nazis on the moon. Could be. Could they, there's they a lot, a lot, a lot of base. there's a lot of conspiracy theories about the moon, and I think they're all pretty fucking hilarious. Yeah. But the idea that the moon landing was fake <sighs> before. Like the age of cell phones and the internet and technology, yeah, I could maybe get because the way information was presented at that time was very constricted. You only had a few major news outlets, you only had a few things, and still it would have been a huge fucking conspiracy because everyone in the world was basically watching uh when neil mm -hmm. got on he messed up his fucking lines yeah did you know he messed up his lines yep, yep. he was supposed to say it's yep. one small step for a man yeah. one giant leap for mankind but believe it or not he was kind of stressed out i imagine that and he was going on the fucking moon for the first fucking time yeah 
He was like, one saw Seth for man, one giant leap for mankind. Uh, my mom actually used to be, uh, used to work for, um, the Challenger Space Program at the Museum of Flights uh, here in the Seattle, Washington area, and she used to write a bunch of um, space programs for kids to learn about these things. So I learned a lot of shit about astronomy and about all of these things at a very young age. Yeah. But yes, he fucked up on his line, and I did meet uh, Buzz Aldrin, actually. That's awesome. He's kind of a dick in real life. Oh, jeez. But, um, you know, he's he is a man of his time, is what I will say. He is a man <laughs> of his time. Um... <laughs> All right, well. Yeah. Super duper. I do love the joke, though, that Stanley Kubrick was yeah. just too much a perfectionist. That yeah. he, he insisted filming on location. Oh, yeah, same. And so, still, yeah, it's it's just really good. Um, yeah, there's a lot of conspiracy theories about the moon. This one is not mm. one that I believe in. No. For those who are, who are still thinking, which one's yeah. the one that Stephanie believes in? We haven't got to it yet. For those playing at home. For those playing at home, yeah. this is not the one I believe in because I like the moon <laughs> oh, because geez. it's close to oh us. Oh my gosh, Sponge Monkeys. We like the spoon. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> that, that is old but not internet. But please no sellouts. <laughs> they like the money because <laughs> we love the moon. Jeez. Early days of the internet. <laughs> I remember when my friend showed me that in high school, and I'm just like, the yeah. fuck is this shit? Like, I was did... like, the land before memes, pretty much everything on the internet was, what the fuck is this? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh. I am ex very excited about talking about my conspiracy theory. <laughs> when we get to it, I think y'all will know, like, yeah. which one's mine, because... Yeah. There, again, there is one on this list that I firmly actually believe in. And I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not just trying to just describe this, but there, uh, there's other people who do believe in this. And I feel very validated that people I believe mean, in this. A lot of our conspiracy theories, like, people b do believe in. So there is that little bit of legitimacy there anyway. Okay, but again, so with the moon landing being faked, again, in, in, in a time before the internet, yeah. in a time before, like, what we know today, believe it or not, there's a lot of fucking documentation. There's a lot of real oh, fucking absolutely. evidence proving that they fucking went to the moon. Yeah, yeah They have absolutely. fucking moon dust. Some of yeah. it, okay, so my older sister works uh, at the Smithsonian, um, and she works this very, very, very specific... Yeah. Well, my dad works at Nintendo, but it's not a contest. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> um, she was a very, very specific uh, microscope. Microscope. My, my words are hard. Um, <laughs> She's a microscope technician. Yeah. Yes, yes. And and so one time she actually had some samples in her purse, and she dumped this this uh, sample into my hand of like existence of life on another planet. And she's like. I'm like, oh my god, well you can't save this, it's been containing my hand. She's like, yeah, what are you gonna do? And I was just like, I rubbed my hands together and I rubbed it all over my face. <laughs> so, nice. I guess uh, I got, I have more connection to I, things from outer space than most people would. Oh my god, salad fingers! Cat, oh, oh salad fingers! Salad fingers, salad fingers creeped me out when I first saw it. I was one of those weird, creepy kids and I liked, um... When the um, red water comes out? Uh, <laughs> no, um... Um, is Vader Zim oh, and yeah, yeah. that guy and all the stuff he did. Yeah, Johnny the and, Homicidal Maniac. Yeah, Johnny the yeah. Homicidal Maniac. I, watched, I read a lot of those uh, comics, because uh, I was working at a comic book shop, uh, shop at the time when those were coming out. And, uh, oh my god, I love this. <laughs> the actual, like, they're, 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 they're in... Oh, this is a really good picture, Kenji. Thank you. This is really, really good. Yeah, did you, did you, Kat, did you watch the new Salad Fingers? That's right. They that came made, out a couple years ago. Ones. The people who did Salad Fingers were like, well, it's been 40 years. Yeah. Okay, it's actually been more like 15 or 20 years. But it's been a long time. Maybe I'll come back and revisit Salad Fingers and make yeah, people right. realize why this was terrible in the first place. <laughs> There's just some things. 
from the early days of the internet that don't hold up well, and Salad Fingers is one of those. But Salad Fingers was very much like Invader Zim, Johnny the Homosanal Mania, kind of similar vibes of just weird but creepy, but, like, unnerving, and kind of like the dead baby jokes and those types of things. Did you bring out a special brush just for, like... Yes, just for doing stars. Oh, that's beautiful. Because they're filming on location. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, are we ready for the next one? I'm just so excited to do all of these. I'm looking at the clock, and I want to make sure we get to most of these. You're doing a great job in making beautiful scenes, and we, I appreciate that. We did have that hiccup at the start with the cut into our time a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, oh gosh, I love this. This is great. <laughs> okay, what's our All next right, conspiracy theory? We're ready theory? for conspiracy theory number four. King Charles is a vampire. Everywhere else was still saying Prince Charles. Yeah, well, but the article's written before he became the king. He's yeah. a king now. He's a king now. He's a king now, and he's... <laughs> and I think it's really funny, because all I can think of is just, like, just, just, like, the most typical, like, vampire, when you think of, like, mm-hmm. Count Chocula <laughs> kind of, like, vampire. Yes. Except the fact that he's old, and vampires yes. don't age. He's an old man He's now. a very old man. He had to wait until he was in his 80s to finally, like, get his yeah, job. and only because his mom died. Yeah. And Ashley's saying, well, apparently Doug Hug Me, I'm Scared, has gotten a new season. Never watched it. Never watched Salad Fingers either. I don't, I, I've never watched Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Yeah, I've, um, I've only heard uh, things about it, but... Yeah, yeah kind of like similar energy, too. Yeah, yeah. But, You know, it's... I, okay, here's a conspiracy theory that I can easily po- punch holes in, mm-hmm. like Swiss cheese. Again, he's an old man. Yeah, yeah, But okay, sure. okay, okay. I will I will scale it back for a second, because anybody who's seen Bram Stoker's Dracula, the That's first true. time you see uh, Count of Vlad, is that his name? Oh, gosh, I forget. It's been a hot minute since I read it. But, yeah, he, he, he's, he's a shapeshifter. A, yeah. Well, he's a shapeshifter, and, like, the first version you see, he's a very old man. Yeah, yeah. And and you gotta like you gotta like hold up that that image of like you're actually alive. Mm-hmm. But what the fuck is like King Charles supposed to do when like he's supposed to die? Um, assume the role of one of his grandchildren. Oh. oh, okay. That's why they're making sure they're having lots of babies now. Exactly. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, welcome, Chance. Hello. <laughs> this you is the best one to come in time, into. Yeah. Um. Yes, you'll have to watch our stream later to see the other uh, conspiracy theories we've already talked about. Yes, Um, this is not the one Stephanie believes in. I don't actually believe in vampires as much as I. I know. Oh, I know. Everybody at home, what? (laughs) Somebody's actually believe in vampires. Teenage Stephanie would be very disappointed in adult Stephanie because (laughs) teenage Stephanie loved Vampire the Masquerade. I want, like, a very first game trying to play, like, because it's from um, um, Monster the Adjective role-playing games <laughs> where but man, uh, Vampire the Masquerade, yeah. we all played Ventru, which was all basically just trying to recreate uh, Interview with a Vampire. And because we loved, loved, loved the book and the movies so much. Except Queen yeah. of the Damned, because that was terrible and it came out around that time. And we're like... Oh, this is actually really bad. This is sad that this is the last movie. Uh, What's her face was in Aaliyah. before? She, yeah, yeah Leah died before. She, that was the last movie she was in before she died. This kind of sucks. She deserved better than this. Yeah. Um, but no, no, I don't actually believe in vampires. Sorry, no. Oh, we we my my conspiracy theory is still coming up. There is one of these I firmly believe in. <laughs> I I will not lie to you. I, I will put she, on my tinfoil hats. She will give so many details because she's been researching it. Like, <laughs> earlier <sorry>. this afternoon, <laughs> like, weeks, the, the week leading up to this, like, Steph has been on it. I wouldn't say the week's coming up to it, well, but I was, like, talking about it. At least this it. last week. Because I was, like... Yeah. So I, I will tell the whole story when we get to my conspiracy theory of how we got here. And then I was like, Ken, can we do a whole stream about conspiracy theories? Just, and yeah. He was like, yes, very <laughs> yes. Let's do this. Uh, we got Chance saying, King Charles isn't cool enough to be a vampire, but I'm still here for this. It is like, 
every single place we looked for for ridiculous conspiracy theories it kept showing yeah. up that king charles is a vampire the, this is one that is for some reason popular on the internet a lot of people believe that he is a vampire now the reason why i don't believe vampires exist is just because of all of the other mechanics behind it and because all right so vampires are allergic to the sun or get sparkly, if you talk about it with Stephanie Meyer's yeah. universe. Depending on which flavor of vampire. Yes. But, so, you, in your blood, you have vitamin D, which is what the sun is, gives you. And moonlight is just reflected sunlight. Exactly. Exactly. So, big punch hole through that, like, yeah. story. And then in, like, the idea of living specifically just off of blood, that's not enough for a human to live off of. Like, yeah. when we talk about supernatural beings, sure, whatever, that's fantasy. But we talk about, like, actual conspiracy theories, things that actually exist mm -hmm. in this world. Uh, blood, it's not enough for you to actually sustain off of to, li like, to be able to live. Yeah. Like, it, even if you were being infused with somebody else's blood 24-7, your body still needs all of this, 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 and this, and this in order to be able to exist. That's why, again, with the whole, like, rule with, like, the moonlight is actually sunlight, yeah. with, like, vitamin D being in blood, with all of these things, it just don't make any sense. Now, yes, there are animals that do exist off of blood. I mean, yes. vampire bats. For vampire bats. The first thing um, yeah. There's lots of other insects that do as well. Mm -hmm. But, but, hear me out, their um, body co composure and their body chemistry has evolved. Yeah. And you can, you can say the same thing for vampires, that they evolved They're to be able to... But when we talk about yeah. he human evolution, in order to have a human evolution to be so drastically different yeah. than Homo sapien, it would have taken a fucking long ass time, yeah. which some people Ooh. again could say is a conspiracy theory, but how have they been able to exist for yeah. this fucking long? Because then they would have to breed. And then yeah. how are they breeding and all of these damn fears are walking around, blah, 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 blah. It, again, it just as its own species as whatever kind of route you want to take for vampires it just there isn't enough to actually support it and for like insects too like they're far less sophisticated of an organism than a human being is so like the homo sapien would be very difficult uh to to sustain off of something like that yeah um we're yeah. too complex yeah exactly we're too complex yeah uh rachel says i've never heard anything about him being a vampire we were surprised yeah. too yeah this was news for us as uh, well we, but we kept seeing it across the board uh ashley uh energy and vampires are the closest thing i'll believe in vampires ditto um chance oh fun fact the original dracula novel he's not burned by the sun it just makes him weaker it was the nosferatu movie that introduced that idea that is absolutely mm, right yep. i forgot that detail thank you for reminding me and we got ashley saying ain't blood from humans super gross anyways yes yes it is um chance also i think in dracula he's supposed to be a metaphor for the way the noble slash rich uh, of rich of the time would prey on people absolutely absolutely that's why the whole idea with vampires and you know how yeah. they've been sexualized and romanticized over the aeons it, again, as a conspiracy theory, it just doesn't hold up that yeah. even vampires would exist, let alone that, pr that King Charles would be one. Mm -hmm. Let the man just be king for his last few years of life <laughs> before mm -hmm. it's passed on to somebody else. I think he'll have the shortest reign of any <laughs> nobility in, in uh, yeah. the, the history of... Yeah, for sure. But... What's our next conspiracy our theory? Our next one. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with this drawing. This is drawing. great. This is really uh, great. I think you did a really good job <laughs> capturing just wanna, the vampire teeth. Oh, yeah. I, I just want to draw, basically, um, King Charles as Bella Lugosi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Job. Our next conspiracy theory. Prince is still alive, baby. Um... <laughs> Hey ho, let's go! Oh jeez, yes, <laughs> yes. We we've moved on from show tunes to to the uh, purple rain. Um, purple rain, purple rain. 
I'm not actually the purple rain guy. If, if anybody has enough money to do this, it's Prince. <laughs> okay. Yes, Ashley, this is the one I believe in. <laughs> because if there was any fucking... Okay, okay, I'm, 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 I'm going to start I'm gonna start from the beginning because I've been working on this since last week. Mm-hmm. So She has. We were watching uh, the Goof Troop, uh, uh, or the Goofy movie uh, with... Um, Powerline. Powerline. And we're like, this is pretty much Prince. And I was like, man, did I tell you about my conspiracy theory that Prince is still alive? I, that was the first I've heard. And I went into it, and yes, I firmly believe that Prince still is still alive. Uh, let me put on mm-hmm. my tinfoil hat, mm-hmm. because if there is <laughs> one celebrity who would do it, it would be fucking Prince. He hated the paparazzi. He hated all of the attention he got. He hated, like, having, like, this view of him. Also, he was getting older. And, like, mm-hmm. his whole image of being a sex icon. I mean, fucking, like, uh, um, what's, this, what's the song? I was just listening to it. Um, Darling Nikki. I oh, mean, yeah, like, yeah. that was the one that put the fucking censors on fucking music. Like, he was so prolific. He wrote so many fucking songs. He was a big fucking deal. Yeah, he everyone, wrote a lot of songs about fucking, too. Uh, everyone <laughs> wanted to be fucking Prince. And they wanted yes, to they be did. fucked by Prince. Yeah, too. Like, everybody. And he was so such a big fucking deal and he hated that attention he just wanted to make music he Mm. just wanted to sing he just wanted to dance he just wanted to create music and he hated all of the attention he hated the fact that being a person of color what he had to do to be in the music industry the fact that he learned from his own parents who both were in the music industry and everything they had to fucking go through if you look at his whole music like his whole like catalog of all of his music it all shows how much he fucking hated the man how he hated the fucking system there was one video where he like wrote slave on his cheek like yes he was very clear on his thoughts about the music industry yes ashley this is the one i believe in (laughs) i know you were joking but no this is the one i absolutely believe in i think prince is still legit alive um because when you look at the details of his death it's so fucking telling. It's it's very sketch, yeah. It's super fucking sketch. Now I'm not like the world's biggest Prince fan. I do like Prince, I, I, and when we were listening to Prince earlier today, I was like, okay, I think I might be a bigger Prince fan than you can. It's true, you are. You are. I am. It's true, and um, I might just be too demanding. <laughs> maybe I'm just like my father. You're too bold. Or maybe I'm just like my mother, too demanding. Uh, or she's never satisfied. I don't know. She's never satisfied. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it, it's it's like okay. So the details of his death, like you could see where he was like releasing certain things all up and coming to his death. Yeah, he was like, going and doing his last concert, and then suddenly he had a no or he had infamo uh, wait, wait, wait. Influenza. influenza. Yeah. Suddenly he had influenza. But then he's feeling well enough to ride his bike around his town. He had like, what? enough energy to do this, he had enough energy to do that and this. And then on the day of his death, they didn't find his body until like 10 hours after the supposed death and he died of overuse of opioids how fucking easy would it be to get a fucking fan to like a lookalike fan too i know people say this about fucking uh, elvis but elvis Mm -hmm. loved the attention elvis didn't want to stop being the limelight prince did prince hated being the limelight he like wrote songs where he was like i hate the fact that i have to do this again he wrote slave on his fucking cheek like he's a slave to the music industry because he's a person of color he has to do the stupid shit in order to be relevant in order because he had a bunch of songs that uh, planked he had the black album that like he pulled back he's like no this is evil and blah 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 where he actually talked more about his uh flavors of homosexuality which at the time yeah. if he did come out even as bi um because you saw what happened after with um freddie mercury oh yeah after he died all of the controversy at the time of his like when he was you know out in the out in the open i'll say it like that <laughs> Yeah. Um, that if he did come out even as bi, it would have ruined his career, like in the eighties mm. and the nineties. And oh, so yeah. when he started doing some of this shit, and then that's why he pulled it back, only for them to reveal the black album later, and blah blah blah. 
we were listening to it. I'm like, this is the evil album, Ken. Oh, this is so the evil. evil album that he so pulled back. Evil. So evil. Ooh. And you know, it was just a lot of his references where he would like the things that he would do to your boyfriend, like, yeah, yeah. you know, where he was like not less than subtly implying the things that, cause he was probably gay. It, it yeah. probably by just like, um, um, like uh, Freddie Mercury was. Mm-hmm. And so, but again, if there was any fucking celebrity who would do it, it would be him. And on his fucking YouTube, slowly things are being revealed from his secret vault. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I personally think the motherfucker is on an island. Um, what, did I, what did I call it earlier? Um, um, you were making jokes about the little prince. No, 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 like, like dearly beloved, we are here. The oh, day, I'm gathered here uh, today. Let's go. We are uh, welcome go. to the new uh, world, the new, the new the age, new order, the new world right? order. Not a new world order. I, <laughs> That's a different I, conspiracy everyone, theory. <laughs> everyone has a new world order anymore. Uh, I, I'll look it up later because I, I, I now I'm forgetting it. But um, that like uh, um, that that I think he's on a remote desert island. And he is just creating music because that's all he wanted to do. Mm-hmm. He just wanted to sing and dance and create music and not be disturbed by all these people. And we were looking earlier too that like some of his other like videos, because like all these like really popular ARGs are showing that with a couple of uh, simple filters, it's really fucking easy. Oh yeah, to See. make things look like it came from. Uh, the 1980s 1990s just really like it's a simple filter that on your phone oh yeah and oh you also listen to this new song or one of his uh newer songs um about uh welcome to america and he was just really disenfranchised yeah, with like about ipods and stuff yeah. yeah how like technology is kind of ruining everything and again if there was one celebrity who would do it it would be fucking prince he had more money than god he had a sister who was working with him who was also a musician who could just be in charge and like make sure to take care of everything on the side yeah. he had like i think like five or seven step siblings who also wanted a little cash in yeah but pay them off and pay enough people off to look at the autopsy, quote unquote, to like make sure, oh yes, it was opioids. In fact, it's also like like record that they were looking into the opioid case to see, oh, who sold them this, this, and this, and then they dropped the case. Yeah, yeah. They never actually followed through to figure out what actually mm-hmm. happened. Oh, well, we're just gonna drop this case and blah blah I mean, blah. They, they didn't sell it to him with the intent of killing him. Yeah. So we're gonna have like a no hard feelings clause. Yeah, we're just gonna let this one drop. And so, yes, I think Prince is still alive on some resort beautiful island making music and that we'll see more things coming out of the vault over time that he necessarily wants to reveal to the rest of the world because the man just wanted to live his life. And it happens to a lot of celebrities. And I I see Mm -hmm. that like uh, um, Snoop Dogg and so many other like musicians just wish that they didn't have to deal with like fucking publishers and branding deals yeah. and all of this shit just so they can fucking create music. And, and, and all yeah. of them, a lot of them trying to get out of really bad like places um, in, in like the, the ghetto, especially for people of color. Well, that's like, like Snoop Dogg bought Death Row Records specifically so that he could protect other artists from the same crap that yeah. he had to go through uh, is he was a young artist himself. So, which I thought was super duper awesome of him, quite frankly. Uh, in the chat, Chance, honestly, if it's true, good for him. Same. Yeah, I totally agree. I, t- I think he totally deserves that. Um, Chance also says, even nowadays, Mercury's bisexual is erased. Yes. Mm-hmm. He's often either seen as gay, just strictly oh, yeah. gay. I'm like, no, he was bi. He was very in love. Like, he wrote this fucking, like, love of my life mm-hmm. was written for a woman. Like, and it was yeah. legit the love of his life. It was his wife. Like, no. I thought they were married. I don't think they got, no, they didn't get married. Then the biopic lied to us about that, too. And maybe I'm wrong. Um... um because, yeah, like, even in the biopic that they, they did of him, um, he they, they had his character say, oh, I'm a bisexual, immediately for his wife to be like, oh, you're gay, and, and like, you can't control it. Like, he just told you 
Like, and why are you believing him? Like, it's okay. Yeah. Lot, lots of thoughts. But it's hard for a lot of celebrities, especially mm-hmm. musicians, oh, yeah. who just want to create music. And uh, Prince especially, like, he was proficient in so many instruments. Oh, God. He did all of his music checks himself, yeah, for and, every and instrument. And he was such a perfectionist. Yeah. I mean, the man created so, so much. Uh, we were also looking at, uh, what's the song from Sin- uh, Sinead O'Connor? Oh, uh, Nothing Compares. And that, yeah. uh, Manic Monday, mm-hmm. he wrote those songs, and other people made them more popular. But like the man wrote so much music, and not just, prolific, yeah. not just in the eighties, not just in the eighties, like even like up until the day of his death. <laughs> um, but yeah, like if he had influenza, why would he be riding his bike a couple of days before yeah. he would die? It really felt like he was trying to do those last few things. He did one last mini concert a cappella in this yeah. one space in his hometown before he suddenly died yeah yeah again sure. if there's any celebrity people say like elvis or this again elvis liked this uh the 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 um the limelight yeah. e- even mj liked a lot of the attention uh but prince didn't he didn't like any of yeah. the attention um yeah yeah um so wendy uh yes lisa it is it ready Yes, please. Is, is the war- water warm <laughs> enough? I think we're ready to, to finish it. Oh, man. I want to talk about this forever. <laughs> I had a lot more, like, Prince quotes and, like, music lines ready for this. You, and I just You had to drop all the truths first before you could get to it. But, no. This, this one yeah. I f- actually believe in. And this yeah. is the whole reason why we did tonight's stream is because... <laughs> Steph could talk about I, it. I really want to talk and, and tell you all why I think Prince is still alive. <laughs> Again, I don't, I'm not the biggest huge Prince fan. I can't tell you all of his music yeah. and his discography or anything like that. It's not like I'm a big fucking Prince nerd or something. Mm-hmm. But um, I do think that if any if any celebrity would have done yeah. it, it would have been yeah. him. So and so, Ken's coworker believes with me. Yes, I I have. Uh, I was discussing it, and there are coworkers that I have who are like, yeah, nope, I could see that. Anyway. Again, if there was any celebrity that would, <laughs> it would be Prince. Well, what else we can see is the next conspiracy theory oh, coming I'm not up. I'm ready to stop talking about I, it. Oh. I know, but we can't halt the show right there. I the drawing's know. done. Uh, <laughs> Dinosaurs built the pyramids. This is a good one, too. This is really good. <laughs> this actually is legit comp- uh, conspiracy we, theory. We discovered this one as we were looking up theories for this, and I was laughing so hard at this idea. It's so good. Uh, we got in the chat, um, Rachel saying they were married, uh, or the drugs came from Michael Jackson Jr. Uh, they were not uh, married, just friends. Freddie said he was bisexual. Mm. Yeah, I didn't think he was married either. Um, okay, well, then, yeah, the movie lied to us. Actually, I mean, lied about a couple things. Uh, I don't think it said they were married in the movie either. He proposed, but she's like, no. Oh. Yeah, he proposed a okay. few times, and she said no. That's okay, thank you. Um... We got Ashley saying, um, um, halfway done with the camera burst, stopping for now because I got bored. <laughs> Chance, please draw a dinosaur with feathers. <laughs> oh, but what about dinosaur lies? I mean, I do enjoy dinosaur lies. Dinosaur lies. We're yes. talking about other conspiracy theories. Absolutely. I, so, Drawfee. We love Drawfee. Mm-hmm. In case you didn't know. Yeah. And they do the bone game all the time. And if you've never watched a Drawfee do the bone game... Go treat yourself to that because Heck it's yeah. really good. The bone game you is some for dinosaurs. Yeah, is the idea that you take a skeleton and then you try to basically skin it, uh, which is basically what early anthropologists did with dinosaur bones. Yep, they put all these pieces together, and some of them weren't really even put together well. Oh no! Like the British were horrible. Like they just like, oh, this looks like it could fit. Let's toss it together. And so. Um, they, they were trying to draw what they would imagine dinosaurs would look like. And basically, they just put skin over these skeletons mm-hmm. and without really putting much thought to it. That's where you have these very monstrous looking creatures. And then nowadays, we put the skeleton of against of like a hippopotamus mm-hmm. next to the actual animal. And it's just like night and day yeah, difference. Yeah, yeah. They, they, there's a lot of artists that like to play with that. Like they, they'll take the skeleton of like mm-hmm. a flamingo and make this horrible look looking monster and they show you what the actual animal looks like and so Drawfee has done that on more than a few occasions 
the bone game yeah. where they'll be given the skeleton of some animal and they're supposed to try to figure out w- what it's supposed to look like with kind of given that same kind of yeah. parameters yeah. and it's really funny. So the the um, the idea of the dinosaurs have uh, feathers is actually super legit mm-hmm. uh, because of Amber. Um, Amber is my diamond. Um, Amber is my best friend. You Amber is love, a girl best friend. You do love yourself some good, good Amber. I wear a- Amber every single day. It's, it's my true. absolute favorite, favorite of all the the stones, resins, whatever you want to call it. It's my absolute favorite because it's like fucking prehistoric. I actually do have a piece of Amber that has a spider in it. It's fucking cool. Amber is so fucking cool because they found a piece of amber that had um, dinosaur DNA and a feather in it. They're like, oh, oh, I think we, yeah. I think we are wrong. But you know what they were not wrong about? The dinosaurs yeah. built the pyramids. Absolutely. Like, um, how else could it have been done? I mean, <laughs> aliens? <laughs> Whatever. That's crazy talk. Ancient, oh God, I tr- we've we okay. We have actually legit tried to watch an episode or two of it, Ancient Aliens. We can't get through it. It's so hard to watch. The It's so bad. The dramatization is just is off the charts. On It's on a completely different level of just cringe, of mm-hmm. just bad. And as much as we wanted to laugh at it, we're just like, I, I'm so sorry. I can't get through this. This is yeah. so, so bad. Um, so the idea of the dinosaurs built the pyramids is actually from a, uh, cre- creationist, um, mm, oh, back right, in yeah. the, um, uh, uh, with the days of, uh, religious lists, they actually interviewed the guy who, uh, started oh, yeah. this theory. Yeah. Uh, he had a whole Christian museum and a whole Christian, it's like um, a college that he ran and too. a school too. Yes. Teaching Christian, basically conspiracy theories they called it christian theology and how like a creationist idea would be uh scientific uh, scientifically factual and how they supported that by it was by saying that the dinosaurs (laughs) the dinosaurs (laughs) built the pyramids Forget the Triceric, like the Jurassic, all of those other yeah, eras, yeah. but we can uh, like actually yeah. like carbon date these things, and it's very accurate. Forget carbon dating, forget its logic, forget any of those things. No, it's the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs built the pyramids, of Absolutely. course. Absolutely. I mean, we all saw Jim Henson's dinosaurs, right? And, and, and we all saw Jurassic <laughs> Park where they were tall enough to do it, you know? Mm-hmm. They're basically as tall as pyramids. They could they could do that. Yeah, yeah, totally. And in some of the images that they showed of, like, the dinosaurs building pyramids, they did show them to be as tall as the pyramids, which we know is not fact because we have the fucking skeletons to prove it. Yeah. it it's so fucking ridiculous. It's kind of like the same theory of, like, oh, well, um, God put dinosaur bones into the earth to test our faith yes absolutely that's 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 a test i I, i'm a test i mean never mind all of these like other evidence of other societies and you know things that still exist to this day forget all the things in greece and and, and, then the head stonehenge uh uh, 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 dinosaurs Never, never mind uh, thousands of years of mathematics and human engineering. Like, oh, that's bullshit. You know, if we, if, if white people couldn't do it, yeah, then definitely brown people couldn't do it. No, that, that's that's why it had to be aliens. But even Which, aliens hate white people. I God, I love that theory because like there <laughs> there was some nerd like, and I I bought a mug from it too <laughs> because I loved it so much. It was just like aliens hate white people because none of these like ancient white societies had the same kind of uh engineering feats uh performed as these other ancient cultures and uh, just assume okay well clearly the aliens weren't coming here so aliens hate white people aliens hate white people yeah yeah you know i think they were onto something i think they were yeah (laughs) um Okay, so we get a chance saying, okay, but imagine Egyptian dinosaurs with gorgeous feathers. Okay, that's that's legit. Um, Rachel, she did keep the ring Freddy gave her, and she is the only one who knows where Freddy was laid to rest. Mm. Ooh, that also sounds like it's conspiracy mm. theory. Ooh. Maybe for a part two video. Oh, we got Ashley saying, oh yeah, I saw that one with the hippopotamus. Um, mm, yeah. 
And Rachel saying, I can't the ali- with the alien show. Yeah, same. And Chance, I don't blame the aliens. Samesies. Samesies. <laughs> I don't... I, 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 I do love that mug that you bought. This is oh, uh, aliens hate white people. Yeah. <laughs> and like, I mean... Yeah. The, all the arguments for, like, these ancient civilizations, they were all at the same time that, like, white people were existing in other parts of Europe, too. And so the idea that ancient tech, alien technology was only in a few places, it's really like, eh, now I don't think we're going to do Stonehenge. Eh, I don't think we're going to do this, this, and this. Yeah, these people kind of suck. We're, we're going to stay here in the Middle East. These people are pretty rad. Yeah. Maybe we'll go to South America. Um, Rachel, I've heard the aliens built Stonehenge. I've heard that as well. Yeah. Um, I, I, okay. Yeah. Maybe one of these days we can go back to Ancient Aliens and try to watch it. <laughs> I think if we can get through JoJo's Part 5, we can get through like True. an episode 2 of True. Ancient Aliens. Oh, man. But the idea that the dinosaurs built the pyramids is just, mm-hmm. like, so many, like, creationist, very fundamentalistic um, Christian people who are like, no, the dinosaurs were fake. It's like the moon landing was fake. It's all these things that are fake. They're, it's God testing us. God put those dinosaurs in there to, to test our faith, to that's, see if we we actually believe in. You know, I, and, I, and I hate those ideas of, like, well, God gave us free will so that we could choose God. Well, then is it really free will? Yeah, right. Or are you just, like, looking for a bad excuse? Oh, I think you're making excuses. Mm. You and your relationship with your God are kind of abusive. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you should really reassess your relationship with your daddy. And then and go take that to a therapist. What is the saying? Jerry's? Jerry is the best bricklayer I know. And the, the other T-Rex is, he's doing a great job. Oh, that's a good stego. Um, Triceratops. Oh, Triceratops. Sorry, I know you love a good stego. I do. Stegos are my favorite. Um, you it's know, this this is a great, ride. this is beautiful. <laughs> I, I love, like, the implication that I've made here is not only did they physically build it, but they did the plans for it, too. Like, they did the, the architecture. Yeah. The yeah. plans. That's the what plans. they say. Yeah. yeah. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs <laughs> far behind it all. Because he's dead for the oh last dinosaur. That show was my jam growing up, and you know it. Hasadiga I, uh, evil eye. Yeah. Right. Are we ready for the next one? Ibo-a. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Our next conspiracy theory is Dealey Plaza is popping. Oh my God, Dealey Plaza. Dealey Plaza. Okay, this one I think requires a little bit of explanation. So, Dealey Plaza is a location in Texas. Um, it is where uh, JFK was shot in the sixties. Um, and it's, it's, it's just nuts. Um, it's so, okay, I'll step in while you're looking up your okay. reference pictures. Thank you. <laughs> yes. So it was like last year, the year before? Uh, it was the 2020 election cycle. But I thought this was happening, like, where people thought he was going to be resurrected was, like, last year, the year before. I, it was after, like... It's still going, to be quite honest. People are still there? I think so. No. I, I want to say No. Yes. Um, Please, people check and see if there are people still... Okay, so the idea is, is that uh, because JFK was, like, assassinated and killed, which some mm-hmm. people think was a conspiracy theory as yes. well. But, um... The idea of the Dealey Plaza right now is that there's, like, the new life. Uh, I don't... Second uh, life. Oh, oh God. Was it second life? Did they no. help? So, so... You were telling me about it before. Uh, so, basically... Citizen, uh, oh. Basically, that um, Trump is going to become president again, and that... Yeah. JFK is going to be resurrected from the dead. He's going to appear at Dealey Plaza. Where he was shot, because that's where you want to go when you resurrect. And Mike or uh, MJ, yeah, Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson would be performing a concert for them too. And and all these other celebrities. And JFK would be the vice president for Donald Trump. JFK Jr. So the oh, way, JFK Jr. Yeah, excuse the, me. The the way that they. 
that they're going about trying to, and to make this And this is a QAnon. Yes. This, this is, is QAnon. A, this is a QAnon theory. Um, and I just want to make fun of it because it was so ridiculous. But I can't yeah, believe. Oh my like God. they try to say JFK is going to resurrect and make an announcement that Trump was anointed the 19th president because screw you, Rutherford B. Hayes. Um, oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah. The, um, that it was sovereign citizen. Sovereign citizen, um, yeah. That there, that theory, sovereign citizen is one that existed before today. Uh, but we're before do you want to step in so you can focus on drawing, or you got this? I got it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, he um, basically JFK was going to come back from the dead and announce this this great victory for for DJT ratings machine, um, and that his son JFK Jr., who apparently didn't actually die in that uh, plane crash back in the nineties. He went into hiding to get away from uh, the the Democrat death cult and uh, is going to come back and be Trump's new vice president. And like Michael Jackson would also come back from the dead and um, he would be uh, performing like a a concert for everybody. No, no, he it wasn't that he was going to come back from the dead. It was that he was going to he had also hidden uh, to escape. um, I'm sorry. Chance, chance yeah. says, why can't the QAnon people just write historical fanfic? I, they yeah, kind of are. Yeah. Um, and Ashley says, like how it was portrayed, at least. Um, so, okay. Okay. So the whole, like, Citizen Kane... Uh, uh, sovereign Citizen. Sovereign Citizen yeah. conspiracy theory is that back in what year? Oh, God. Like... It was um, whoever the 18th president was. So it was like the early uh, 20th or yeah, early 20th century. That basically the yeah. United States was and all of its people were sold to corporations, mm-hmm. and that corporations own everything, which is uh, too far off. Um, but that there hasn't been any true real president since then, mm-hmm. because everything and everybody is owned CEO. Uh, by corporations. Yes, those presidents are now CEOs. So all of you and your children are just owned by these corporations just to work and die for the man. It's a different way of kind of looking at late stage capitalism, but... <laughs> You yeah. know that that's their that was the whole conspiracy theory for that. That's why they go back to like this 18th president at this specific time, and that at Dealey Plaza on this specific day on this specific time, yeah. as if they haven't taken notes from every single conspiracy theorist who says the end of the world is going to end at this particular time and this particular day, and how none of it has ever happened. And they're like, oh, uh, uh, panic. Um, actually, yeah. uh, that's yeah. going to be this date. Um, please stop paying attention to us. Whoops. Uh, um, uh, here, drink some Kool-Aid. Um, that um, when you say a specific date, a specific time, and I guess like a lot of people oh, yeah. showed up at Dealey Plaza. And, and according to Ken, people are still there. I, I Well, I don't know if people are still there. I know it was going for a while afterwards. Like, people were still Just waiting. Just standing or waiting. Yeah, yeah. Standing, waiting um, for this fucking, like, these people to show yeah, up. Yeah. For JFK and JFK Jr. to rise or to resurrect from the fucking dead. Yeah. And Michael Jackson coming to do his fucking performance. People were standing outside at Dealey Plaza for, like, a long, long, long time waiting for all of this shit to happen. And, and you know, I, I, what I want to say is that it's easy to make fun of conspiracy theorists. Mm-hmm. But the for stuff like QAnon, this is kind of where we're getting to the area where it's a little dangerous. Oh, yeah. Because they're feeding off of people's fears. Mm-hmm. They get at the beginning, people don't believe a little lie, they believe a big lie. Oh, yeah. Except Prince is actually still alive. Fuck <laughs> you. He still is alive. Okay, let me put my... Cause, my tinfoil hat back on. He's fucking alive, and he's having a great life, and he's still making music. And you will see more of his music slowly be released over time I mean, because that's how faults work. But yeah, that's that's how he's gonna make it work. Anyways, uh, uh, to the chat, um, Ashley, uh, Steph, you missed my first message for the second message. Um, yeah, I didn't see the first message show up. It didn't. It didn't show up in the chats that I'm seeing. So. Um, 
We have, oh, we've got some free virtual girl chat. Wow. Thank you, Spambot, 18 sexies. Hey. Welcome to our chat. That's totally um, real. I think you're in the wrong space, man. Yeah. Cat, yeah, free girl's my favorite. Woo. <laughs> I'm not a free girl. You're going to have to pay me lots of money, okay? Um, we were talking about, uh, um, so we were talking about Prince earlier. Okay, everybody, what's your favorite Prince song? <laughs> Mine's Darling Nikki. No, Darling oh, Nikki. Oh, jeez. And, and oh, the, her geez. masturbating with a magazine. Oh, Hell yeah. That's, that's intense. Hell yeah. Free girls chat. Yeah. Uh, apparently we stopped being a family show tonight. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, darling, uh, just the opening like. Doo -doo, yeah. Doo -doo, it's very catchy. Doo -doo, oh, God, doo -doo. Doo -doo. And just, oh, how many people were conceived to that song? Like, God. it's so good. It's so fucking good. But I'd love to hear everyone's favorite Prince song. Um, even if it's just res uh, Raspberry Beret, because it's the only one you know. L let me know. What, what, what's your favorite Prince song? I'm sure the Prince, who is absolutely watching our stream, mm -hmm. is going to find out because he's going to want us to take down the video because I fucking exposed the truth yeah. that he is still alive. And he's living his best life, man. I wish that Absolutely. him the best. I wish him the absolute best. Um, <laughs> Rachel, um, it was um, November 2nd, 2021. Uh, the Wackos were there. Okay, yeah, it was 2021. It was just like last year. Um, actually, okay, they finally dispersed then. Um, I can't copy and paste, so I have to retype it. Uh, um, Rachel says all of his music. It's so true. All of his music is so fucking good. I fucking love Prince. Uh, but Darling Nikki is my absolute favorite. If I had to pick a favorite child, Darling Nikki. What about you, Ken? Um, I, you know, uh, Let's Go Crazy is, is definitely my favorite. Hey ho, let's go! Yes. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to get this thing called life. <laughs> exactly. It's the new world. All the world. Uh, Chance, I don't know. Um, I haven't listened to much uh, Prince all that much. Listen, you would fucking love Prince. That's what Rocky oh, based off of. S okay. There, yeah, there's a picture of, of Prince at like a 1990s concert. He's basically wearing Joe Toro's outfit. With a hat that like looks like it's his hair? Yes. It's fucking Prince. Yes. And we were watching this music video. I'm like, oh, hey, Joe Toro. Oh, hey. Listen to Like, please watch his music videos. First of all, his fucking heels lit. I have a pair mm -hmm. of shoes like those, and it just made me remember how many <laughs> fond memories I had on those fucking heels. Mm. Mm. Also, uh, like, his music's fucking amazing. But also, I will send you, like, screenshots if you don't actually watch those. But there are a few where it's just like, this is 100% where Rocky stole the shit from. It was 1,000% just Prince. Um... Chance at Prince. I'm sorry, I'm uneducated gay. You can educate yourself at any time, man. Absolutely. You can educate yourself at any time. Uh, actually, I'll just send you a screenshot on Instagram. Stephanie, I'm too lazy to retype. Okay, sounds good. Uh, Chance, yeah, I know he loved Prince. Um, didn't love Prince. He fucking worshipped him. God, just about. Like we saw this uh, picture of him from a concert in Japan. And I'm like, oh my god, look at everything that Iraqi's yeah. ever done. He, it was obvious he was at this fucking concert <laughs> and I, loved what he was wearing. I gotta wonder, though, because, like, I, I don't know, the, the time frame is a little odd to me, personally, because that concert was in 1990, and uh, Stardust Crusaders was done, in, started in 89. It looks more like uh, season five, honestly, or part five. I... Like, the stuff that he was wearing? Part five. What? No, no yeah. I mean, like... No, part three. I know, part, that's what you're saying. Part yeah, three. Part, but, but the picture I showed you in the concert from 90... Yeah, he that had, what like, he the was chain. wearing. I thought it looked like the part three outfit, personally. Well, but I, I get where... Because there were, like, still a lot of diamonds on it. And the yes, diamonds. The, the diamond pattern the was one that was very and all popular. all of those things. And I was thinking, like, the, the little chain on the jacket. But, I think it's yeah. so funny that, like... Iraqi started a whole fashion line. It's basically just based off of Prince's fashion. Oh, a thousand percent. And that's why Prince went into hiding! Because he hated how people still stole his fucking look. Even MJ yeah. stole his fucking look and his hey hoo! Oh, like, geez. that was fucking Prince, you not have MJ. Got so much energy over this. Like, this is how we know you actually believe it. It's just <laughs> I how do wild believe up this. You are. I do believe it. Prince is still alive. Prince is alive. <laughs> <laughs> 
cat. Why do I feel like JFK would have red robo eyes? Ooh, Ooh. give him the red robo eyes. Make him. Oh, what was it from Terminator? That's uh, yeah, yeah. Make him a TMX. A TM one thousand or T T one thousand. Make him a T one thousand. Yes. Why not? Um, Let's just add more crazy shit to the Dealey Plaza. Because why not? That hair absolutely looks like. I can't remember the actor, but yeah, the one who played the T-1000 for sure. The T, there was the T-1000 and then there was the T, uh, what was, was, uh, uh, um, it was like a T-800. T-800, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. With the T-1000. Yeah. He was the liquid metal guy. Yep. Man, that was such a good movie. I'm so glad I got to show it to you. We get to watch all the Terminators in yes. order. And uh, there's a bunch you could just get rid of that don't actually oh, yeah. exist yeah. in canon. We, we've like, decided. T3, you don't need Terminator yeah. 3. Like, that, that you can dumb. throw away. That was dumb. Um, Terminator Salvation was actually good. Yeah, actually, I really like that one. The Salvation, that yeah. was actually really good. Yeah. That was that was really decently done and actually did a really good job, like, coming back and tying everything else together. Um, yeah, yeah. But uh, the first two, because you hadn't seen the first one or the second one, had you? I hadn't, no. Yeah. That was so much fun. Man, I want to watch Purple Rain. Purple Rain, Purple Rain. I think, I think I'm going to need a little bit of a... Just just time before I can consume more print media. Man, how could you say this? <laughs> we have to... No! It's okay, I understand. I respect uh, that. Um... Oh, yeah, Chan saying Josuke and some of the other stuff from Part 4 is based on Prince. There is so much shit. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. like, all of the low V and showing mm-hmm. off the chest, that is a thousand percent Prince. Um, he also says, maybe Prince uh, Prince will be my next fixation. Um, uh, me too, because if I'm going to have this conspiracy theory, I'm going to have to become an ultra fan. Because I was telling Ken, I'm like, well, I'm not a huge fan of Prince. It's not like I don't like him. It's just not like I'm, like, one of those fans who has, like... The, the artist symbol, yeah, yeah. the symbol of love, tattooed on my butt or anything. Yeah. Like, as a tramp stamp. But, you know, if that was something I would tramp, like, I would I would get on my tramp stamp now that I think about it, just, just for funny. Oh, just geez. for the funnies. I, uh, yes, I can see you doing that now. <laughs> just for the funnies. <laughs> just, just for the lols. Just for the lols. I've got a tattoo artist who I trust, who will probably think it's really funny, too. Um... But no, I'm not, I'm not that big of a fan of uh, Prince, but if I want to continue this strong with my conspiracy theory, I think I'm going to have to mm-hmm. be that that ultimate fan. Because right now being just like, like eh, you know, Prince is good. You know, I like his music. Like, you know, he, he was a sex icon. That was another reason why I feel like it's the conspiracy theory, like why he's still alive. Mm-hmm. Because it, it, it like for people who think he's died... He would have been 64 this year. Yeah. And looking at other, like, sex icons from the 80s and 90s, they don't age well. Nope. And, like, as he was getting to... Hey, the- you, you take that back. Rob Lowe is a national treasure. <laughs> um, who are you talking about just before who looks like oh, your gosh. crazy aunt who comes with Merlot? Oh, oh and- I mean, yes, yeah, Steven Tyler Steven absolutely Tyler. looks like your crazy aunt. Who comes yes. with the Merlot and tarot decks about <laughs> fuck by who's ghosted you. Yes. Um, <laughs> but, he, you know, when you look at other, like, even, like, uh, um, uh, uh, David Bowie, you know, he, he, he aged pretty gracefully, but then there was a time where he was like, okay, I'm out, you know? Yeah. And um, we well, have these sex icons and, and and Prince was absolutely that sex icon. Oh, yeah. I mean, darling Nikki, it, it, look up the lyrics. I mean, if you don't have children around, <laughs> it is absolutely like again. She they're talking about her masturbating, which yeah. talking about women masturbating. Ooh. Holy shit! Oh my! Like you can talk about dudes jerking it off all you wanted back in like the eighties and nineties, but a woman masturbating—that's a whole other different conversation. Um, totally no nos. You don't you don't talk about that. And so, um, but yes, him being this sex icon, uh, for him to age, is almost like yeah. unheard of. Like, how do you age gracefully when your whole entire career was based off of you being a very sexy man? Yeah. And so, I, that's another reason why I think that he just decided that he would fake his death 
and and uh, live out the rest of his life on a private island. Um, I love that we're not even like on that conspiracy theory image anymore. I like... still have so much to say. <laughs> I still have a lot to say. Um, Ashley, Steph, are you able to check Instagram right now? Uh, yes, I can. I can do that right in just a second. Um, and then uh, she also says, Prince is a good fixation to have. Rachel, uh, did she die laughing? Uh, she died laughing to do that tattoo. We were actually talking about how she wants to put a... Uh, oops, wrong one. Capitalism killed the dinosaurs? Oh, that's from Chance. Excuse Wait. me. <laughs> that's from Chance. I, I need to learn more <laughs> about this, though, to, to be honest. Uh, oh, panic, panic. Okay, open that back up. Oh, right. That's what I was trying to do. Uh, uh, nope, wrong one. Um, <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay, Instagram. Messenger. Juniper. Okay, 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 okay. Um, oh, 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 oh. Okay. Um, okay. Ashley, I personally believe that the conspiracy theory for JFK wasn't killed by one fucking person, or at least not how it's betrayed. Also, MLK Jr. wasn't killed by one person either. Again, um, not like how it's betrayed, at least. Okay, thank well, you. Thank you for sending that. It might have actually been blocked by YouTube because mm. I know there can be really, really... Um, touchy yeah, on yeah. conspiracy theories That's even though true. we're kind of making fun of some conspiracy theories except the fuck that prince is real prince I, is prince is not I, dead he is alive um yeah i i actually oh heard my god who else did you add to this oh uh the, well i try to do david bowie as jareth but that's not the best uh Meryl no, monroe that this is supposed to be michael jackson talking to elvis oh. um <laughs> Because he was married to Elvis's daughter, let me let me make those curls a little more uh, uh, prominent. Um, but yeah, yeah, just just trying to do like a Last Supper kind of with I donuts because um, JFK was a jelly donut. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, Ich bin Berliner. Ich bin Berliner. Ich bin. <laughs> Uh, go back to the chat, cat. I wonder if um, he was just able to grow old without criticism, or yeah, he yeah. he wanted just to yeah. be old, be able to grow old without criticism. Absolutely, I'm sure he did. But the fact that he got so much shit, I'm sure that's why he's just like, okay, I'm I'm just yeah. gonna disappear from the world so people won't fucking criticize me, and I can just continue to make music because that's all he really wanted to do. Yeah, for sure. Um, chance. Um, I was like, I don't remember saying capitalism kill the dinosaurs, and I was like, all right, the video essay I sent. <laughs> uh, Ashley, I watched the video on both assassinations. Um, that makes sense. I can send them to you if you want. Um, Rachel, Robin Williams was uh, said to be a Daily Plaza too. What? Oh God, that's right. What? Oh my God! They they just and then it gets adding more and more, which is why oh, yeah. Ken wanted to do the picture the way he 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 said he's doing it right now. I forgot. It's because they kept adding yeah. more. Yeah. The longer people had to wait, the more outlandish. Oh yeah. The 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 lie became. I remember there was like a Rolling Stones concert around the same time. Yes. Yes. And they were trying to say like, oh yeah, we found him. We found we found Michael Jackson. He's at the Stones concert. Like no, he actually wasn't. Because, uh, you know, he's been dead for a while. Uh, but yeah. Unlike Prince, who Prince is, who is very yes, alive. Prince, who's still alive. Very alive. Um, are you ready for the next <laughs> yes. conspiracy theory? All right, let's check it out. Let's, let's see. Oh, my God, can we've got, like, 20 minutes left? Oh, my God. Well, the government is controlling the weather. I guess that's that's not a conspiracy theory. It's a fact, so we can keep moving. Um. <laughs> well, okay, 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 okay. How many more conspiracy theories do we want to do? Because we got twenty minutes That's good. left. You know, there there's another one in here that I want to do. I think it's ten. Yes. Okay. Yes! It is 10. All right. Yes. This is okay. Okay. <laughs> so the the government is controlling the weather. That yes. That's with just like, an episode of GI Joe. Let's be honest. Episode of GI Joe, <laughs> Captain Planet. Uh, it's like the whole windmills can like uh, are giving you yeah, cancer. Yeah, windmills give you cancer. Like yeah. there's there's all yeah. of that in there. But yes, this is one of my favorite ones that we found. <laughs> is that a real conspiracy theory? Is that doing yoga? Is like it, it is like a satanic ritual. Yeah, yeah. That when you do yoga, you're actually having yoga with with you're doing yoga with yeah. Satan. It, it's it's a ritual designed to um, 
get you, people um, worshiping Satan because of all the poses and everything. It, it's also the like the pseudo spirituality, which uh, yeah. let me just say, you know, my yoga teacher is a pretty spiritual person, and she actually does bring in like mantras and mudras and actually brings in a lot more of the spirituality i've actually been really grateful throughout the years i've been doing yoga like i've actually studied from uh people who actually studied in india who actually study and, and bring in a lot of the real spiritual spirituality into yoga but uh there's a lot of people who really really whitewash oh yeah yoga which makes it even funnier that people think that yoga is associated with the devil yeah. and i'm just thinking of I like mean, uh, not today satan i can't go to yoga today unless karen's the devil but hey who knows it's uh, really like especially with how whitewashed yoga mm -hmm. has become i think it's one of the fucking funniest and i just thought it'd be a really funny fucking picture for ken to draw yeah um so Rachel says, yes, they wanted tons. They wanted tons of people to be there. Uh, Chance, uh, Punj the Fish is the government. Or Pudge the Fish, fish is the government. Um, Rachel, I've heard that about the weather. And then um, uh, Chance, who doesn't want to do hot yoga with Satan? Seriously? Right? Seriously? That would be one where I wouldn't say not today, Satan. I would say yes today, Satan. Yes, I'm going to go to yoga. I promise, sweetie. Okay, you've been canceling all my plans and everything else. I mean, we, we want to go to brunch afterwards, and I'm not going to sip on mimosas by myself, okay? And then we've got plans with Rachel and Charlie afterwards, okay? <laughs> We're going to go to the new gentrified area and do some window shopping. <laughs> Have I told it on my Buddha story on stream? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's so. Oh, it's so good. I'm so excited for this. This is so good. <laughs> um, so, so my Jeez. <laughs> you doing okay? My Buddha story. <laughs> You're scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> My Buddha story. So I uh, used to work at a garden shop uh, in like this really gentrified area. And like it was next, I was next to this really cute like coffee shop and clothing store and all these things. And there, it was right next to this very, very uh, rich neighborhood. And, and I will say it like this because I've worked with a lot of rich people over the years in uh, different areas I've worked in, specifically with like uh, horticulture and with plants. But um, there's definitely a difference between old money and new money. And I don't mean that, <sighs> there's no other nice way to say it. Uh, people who've had money for many generations look at money in a very different way Absolutely. than people who are newly acquired who have recently exploited people to get their wealth. Yeah. Um, they usually are much more defensive. Mm -hmm. They feel like they've earned it when they really haven't. Again, Maybe. nobody becomes a millionaire because they've worked hard for it. It's yeah. because they've exploited people. And maybe, maybe they use that money to go buy a social media platform and then fall apart in real time. Oh my god, it's so fucking funny. <laughs> so funny. So There's fucking so funny. so much I could say, oh, but Elon Musk. you have a different oh. story you're trying to tell right now. Yes, so uh, it, it, in this area I was living, or I was working in, and, and kind of living in at the same time, but... Um, it was definitely new money. It was like all these people who just got rich, their husbands got super rich off of Microsoft and Boeing and again, exploited people to get their wealth. Mm -hmm. And so the, these very rich, rich women who had rocks on their left fingers that were so big they could barely lift their hands, yeah. they would go and get day drunk at the fucking bars in this gentrified area. And then they would walk around and just day shop or uh, just window shop. They would never buy anything because the difference between old money and new money is old money doesn't have an idea of what money even is. Yeah. They're just like, oh, I just buy whatever. I just use my card and it just, I just get the things I want. Yeah. Yeah. They have no concept of how much is actually something is worth because they have so much fucking money and they, it's, it's, they've just always had that. They don't have that relation of like what 1999 is versus 299 yeah. like that they don't see the difference between those two different numbers well new money they're very very aware of it in fact they are ch the, some of the cheapest bastards mm -hmm. that you will ever fucking meet 
And I say this because in the context, because they would always be the cheapest and they would always try to return shit. They would always complain about shit. If something died, like a plant died, they would always blame you. I'm like, you bought it. I mean, what the fuck? What do you expect? You have to water your fucking plants. Yeah. But the, my Buddha story. So I'm, this was like when I was in my early 20s and I'm in the, the shop and I was like running the store and doing the whole thing in this little place. And um, this whole group of this, again, day drunk, just, oh, hi, baby, baby, meow, meow. Um, day drunk, middle-aged women, all a bunch of Karens with their hair puffed up in the back, obviously drunk at fucking two o'clock in the afternoon. And they're walking through, oh, my God, this is so cute. Oh, this is just so amazing. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, yes, it's so, oh, my oh, God, this oh, is geez. so, so cute. Oh, my God. Just all of that shit. And so we had these statues of, like, what people call, like, Fat Buddha, who's, like, um, you know, Fat Buddha sitting laughing. You know, it's just a very mm. iconic image. And one woman's like, oh, my God, look at this Buddha. She's so beautiful. And this other woman's like, I think that's Simeon. No, she. This is definitely a woman. And she's pointing to the boobs. <laughs> She's pointing to the boobs of this Buddha. Yes. This is definitely a woman. She's like, oh, yeah, she's so beautiful. Ah, and they move on, and I'm just dying. Oh, the Buddha, she's so beautiful. Yeah, she's so beautiful. Oh, that's my Buddha story. <laughs> um, it, it, what's, what's Aaron's story that he always talked about, like, in the stupid, like, don't know. So he what. kept like teasing about the story, and then he never told him. I was like, "What? I wanted to hear the story. I follow through and I tell my stories." Okay. I don't remember which one you're referencing. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Um, excuse me. Uh, Rachel, um, Lilo and Stitch is where Punch comes or er, is from. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, this is awesome. Heck yeah! I love that this is like a uh, uh, um. Um, a Tim Curry version. Oh, yeah. yeah, I was totally going for a legend Tim this Curry. This is a vibe. legend Tim oh, Curry yeah. yoga. Yeah. Yeah. And I love that they're doing tree pose because I suck at it. <laughs> like, I try really hard and I try to get my foot all the way up in my crotch. And I actually really struggle with balancing poses. I always have to give mm -hmm. for the wall because mm -hmm. I do yoga weekly. And I, I, I do it with Satan. I do yoga Oof. with Satan weekly. And he's a blast. I love doing yoga with him. <laughs> he is he is an absolute charm. And um, Hasadiga oh, Ibawai. Hasadiga Ibawai. Um, yeah. Hasadiga <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Fuck you, God. <laughs> I know. I just want to belt it. I I get it. I get just wanting to like, just get it out there. It's yeah, such a fun song. from the song. bottom of my heart, just Absolutely. yelling, fuck you, God. My, my ears, though. I'm right here. <laughs> you know, it's for my neighbors, actually, and oh, all the times geez. they let their kids just play with a recorder. I can't... Uh, right. Who thought it was a good idea to give that kid a recorder? Oh, hot cross buns. No, no, no. Oh. Yes. Yes. What's what's your favorite jam and jabber live stream where they imitate a recorder with their mouths? Um. We probably got like. Oh, we got ten more minutes. Ten more minutes to do one more. Oh, man. So you, you, you want to finish it on our showstopper as yeah, well? Okay, let's yeah. do it. It's the reason for all these conspiracy theories. The source yeah. of all this, 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 uh, skull, or like, or like, um, skullduggery cloak and, or, yeah, cloak and dagger, or whatever. It's that 5G is the source of all this evil. It's true. 5G. It's true. It's 5G. 5G is behind it all. 5G. 5G, um, <laughs> murdered my village, quite frankly. Um, for those who don't know, there has been for uh, actually for a for a long time, well before five D G was even introduced, um, there was this conspiracy going around, and, and 
I actually know quite a few people who believe in this. Yeah. Um, not not in like the silly 5G is the root of all evil, but they do believe that 5G is not good. And not ge- good in lots of different ways. So uh, the idea is that so cell phones operating on higher frequencies rather than four gigs uh, going to 5G, five gigs, that going up to that extra gig is the going to give you cancer. Yeah. It's going to spread um, higher frequencies that will melt your brain. Mm-hmm. Or uh, uh, tamper with other electronical devices, mess with just the the brain frequencies, like the electromagnetic frequencies in your own brain. So your brain will stop working. Absolutely. Um, I've seen people who put shungite on their cell phones to help prevent five G <laughs> from getting into your brain while using your cell phone. So, I mean, because, you know, we still want to use our cell phones, right? But 5G bad. 5G bad. 5G very bad. 5G bad. Um, I've seen people go so far with uh, the whole idea that 5G can, like, um, uh, tamper again with the weather. uh, Tamper with, like, again, with uh, uh, giving you cancer. Um, The biggest one that I've heard of is just that it tampers with the brainwaves. Yeah. Uh, your own like, like it's mind waves. control too yeah. mind control yeah. all of the things and then as the the conspiracy theory for 5g has just continued people have just added a bunch of other shit to it that's why we wanted to end with the 5g is the source of all evil yeah you know fluoride it's 5g it, yeah, exactly. That's how it's they get not, the mind control. Is five, it's five not, G. Fluoride's not actually helping your teeth. No, no. Not it's at all. also not helping purify the water. It's mind control. <laughs> it's got chips from Bill Gates. <laughs> that's right. Bill Gates made it. That's right. Bill Gates made those oh, microchips geez. that go into the fluoride, that go into the water, that is all fueled by 5G. Right. And so that's why you need to put down your damn phone. Mm-hmm. And that's why I'm posting this stuff on your phone. You know, right. I, there's so much I can say about it and how ridiculous it is. Um, 6G is coming, I've heard, is what <sighs> Rachel says. Oh my gosh. That, really? That's like, okay. okay that's like okay. more evil. Oh my gosh. Well, no, it's kind of like the fucking, like, uh, uh, um,. The console wars. Oh, as soon yeah. as they introduced the PlayStation Five, now they're already talking about PlayStation Six. I'm like, come mm. on, let me enjoy my PS Five for a second, Jesus Christ! Right. Yeah, like yeah, Nintendo sure. at least will give me a moment to enjoy my newest Nintendo platform before mm. they like, oh nope, it's time to upgrade because we want more of your money. Yeah, yeah. that's funny. It's six G because five G just came out. Well, I guess I shouldn't say it just came out. It feels like it just came out. But what's time anymore? Jeez. 5G is behind it all. 5G is is messing with the timelines, affecting our our ideas of reality, of time and space, quantinium, Mm -hmm. um, the multiverse. It's true. 5G is behind it all. It's true. Once they finally opened up 5G, now suddenly... There's multiverse versions of me out there wanting to steal my cats and say, no, she's my child. I mean, she is a great cat. She's a really great cat. Um, we got Chance saying, I hate that my mom brought uh, into the uh, bought into the 5G conspiracies. Oh, no, I'm no. sorry. I'm so sorry. There's a lot of people who do. There are. There's a lot of people because it's so easy because it's just... You can mm-hmm. literally say, because 5G is so much more powerful than 4G, there's yeah. fucking no difference. No. And if you actually looked into the science behind it, you would realize there's no goddamn difference at all. It's just your phone's download speed. Exactly. Like, that's all Exactly. It is. And oh, the things I could say, but um, you make it, like, vague enough that you can add yeah. a bunch of other things to it. And for people who don't want to, like, oh, I did my research. No, you didn't. I listened to a talk show no. and I watched some Fox News. Uh, that's not research. And I, and I, and I listened to a, a podcast and they told me 5G is the root of all evil. Yeah. And then I watched this live stream 
on YouTube yeah. from Jam and Jammer, and they told me that they 5G me. is the, the root of all evil. I mean, everyone's talking about it. How can it be wrong? Uh, I got Chan saying, it's kind of hilarious how those uh, spiritual people aren't aware of the science of EMT fields on the brain. Oh, they think they know everything about oh, yeah. it. Oh, they yeah. think they know absolutely everything about it. We were going to do one tonight, but we ran out of time. Um, but what's the one with Osiris? Oh, right. That um, in, in CERN, uh, mm-hmm. the Large Hadron Collider, uh, they're looking for the god particle that they were actually trying to open up a stargate to contact Osiris and learn the secrets of immortality. There's a lot of stargate uh, there conspiracy were, oh, yeah, theories. Like, uh, George W. Bush was actually um, not going after Saddam Hussein because... WMDs. Uh, WMDs, or he bloodied his daddy's nose. Uh, it was actually because... Um, um, he uh, um, Saddam, Saddam had access to a Stargate, and he wanted his Stargate. He was actually saving the entire world. He was because from yeah. from um, um, a a multi galactic mm-hmm. warfare that could mm-hmm. have happened if the Stargate was opened. Absolutely, you know, more lizard people could have come through. Mm-hmm. And even though everything is already run by lizard people and the earth is hollow and flat. I mean, where do the lizard people come from if not inside the hollow earth? That's also flat. Mm -hmm. It's also super duper flat. Yeah, super, super, super duper flat. Um, (laughs) And and again, it's super easy to make fun of conspiracy theorists and things. But like... You know, my harmless conspiracy theory that Prince is alive because he is alive um, versus, oh, 5G is actually melting your brain because I don't understand science and I won't take two seconds to actually bother to understand it. Yeah. And I'm going to listen to somebody, some fucking crackhead on the Internet who claims they understand science but they don't and they're telling me bullshit lies but it feeds into my idea of what i think truth is and what i want the truth to be so i'm just going to subscribe to that i'm going to say everybody else is a liar because and they're they're part of the conspiracy because i just want people to say the thing that i want to hear yeah and that's where conspiracy theories can get dangerous Absolutely. And I, I wanted to start this whole entire stream with saying exactly that. Especially with the QAnon, the QAnon shaman, like all of these people, they're actually very, very dangerous. Mm-hmm. And we like to poke fun of conspiracy theories. Again, my whole reason for wanting to do this whole stream was because I really want to talk about my conspiracy theory that Prince is still alive. Because <laughs> he is. He is still alive. He's sunbathing on a beach somewhere I think he's having the owns. Yeah, he's having the best fucking life, man. You know, but, like, those harmless conspiracy theories compared to, like, these ones about 5G is yeah, the root oh, of yeah. all evil. Like, it's it's important to make sure you use discernment when it comes to these things. For sure. And um, understand where it's coming from. Because oh, where yeah. it starts to get dangerous is when it comes to, uh, to fear-based theories fear-based things oh people are trying to control me they're trying to lie to me as much as like the prince is lying to you the whole idea is that prince just wants his own privacy and i can totally understand that i don't feel like it's some sort of big conspiracy about how like big pharma is trying to murder us all by giving us pills that will give us cancer and shit like that how some people go because all of that comes down to fear-based Uh, stuff and like that type of conspiracy theory is all rooted on like different types of uh, neuro I don't want to say neurodivergency but it's a it's a different type of um, where your brain goes and it's all rooted down to fear and so whatever your your conspiracy theory that you subscribe today whether we talked about it or there's another one that you could subscribe to again prince is alive um (laughs) just just make sure that you stop and ask yourself is this coming from a fear-based uh conspiracy or is this just like something that i think it would be you know i I think it's interesting to kind of play through you know the idea that prince could still be alive um, and, and if he is living his best life, because I hope that Prince, because I know you are alive on that beautiful island, and I know you're just trying to get to this thing called life, and, and 
you're enjoying your raspberry beret <laughs> on the beautiful beach, and you're having a fucking great life, and and I wish the best for you, Prince. Hell okay? yeah, hell yeah. You know I should I should just do that foot. I was. It gave too much detail to everything around it. I need to add that foot now. Rachel says, yeah. The Men in Black already showed us who all the lizard people oh, that's are. That's true. That's true. God, Men in Black. That was a fun movie. Those were, those were fun movies. I enjoyed yeah. the, I enjoyed a lot of them. Oh, yeah. Not just the first it's one, but... It's just uh, Boris. Yeah. Oh, that was delightful. Sugar and water. Oh, God, that was Sugar so and water. You know, <laughs> human imagination is a beautiful thing. And it inspires us for many, many different purposes in many different ways. And especially in the ways to to create beautiful art during an awesome stream. Of this 5G demon on a throne of skulls. This yes. is the, um, the King of Dragons. The King of Thrones. <laughs> yes, exactly. Thank you all so much for watching tonight. It was I, hope a you, I hope you enjoyed uh, us talking about conspiracy theories. If you'd like us to talk about more conspiracy theories, <laughs> uh, let us know. Yeah, uh, let us know if yeah. you like this stream. Tell, um, tell us what some of your favorite conspiracy theories are that we didn't touch on that you think would make for great bonkers pictures. Because because we'd love to touch this again, kind of like cryptids, yeah. kind of like SCPs. Because now that we talked about oh, SCPs, yeah. I'm in love <laughs> with SCPs, and I want to talk about them all the time. They're so ridiculous. Along with Prince being alive, like I just and how much I hate Hawkeye. Like I just want to talk about all these things all the time with all of you lovely people. And so yeah, let us know if you'd like us to do more conspiracy theories Absolutely. or other stream ideas. We've got a couple suggestions. We're looking yeah. into those. Because yeah. um, we didn't find too much information in our initial search, but we're going to do a little more research. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, Plus any ideas stuff. that you have, please, yeah, please let, us, let know. us know. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Can you got any final I, things you know, to say? Have a beautiful week, everybody. We've got a fun stream planned for you next week, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. next week's going to be awesome. Heck next yeah. week's going to be super awesome. All right. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next week.